welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another one hour transformation video. Today I'm strictly only going to focus on the makeup, hair, and outfit. Last time I did go through all of the steps, meaning like shower, skincare, hair, makeup, outfit, all that. But today I decided to go ahead and cut it down a little bit and just focus on the makeup, hair, and outfit. So if you guys are interested in seeing my one hour transformation, then definitely keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is my makeup. And the first step is always to go ahead and prime. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. And I'm also going to go ahead and use the Benefit Porefessional on the center of my face to go ahead and minimize these pores. So for eyebrows, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in the shade Medium. And then I'm also going to go ahead and combine it with the e.l.f. Brow Pencil in the shade Natural Brown. To go ahead and clean them up and set them in place, I'm first going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the HD one. This is in the shade Medium Beige. I've absolutely been loving this to go ahead and clean up my brows. I love how the applicator itself just goes around the eyebrows perfectly. And then I'm going to go ahead and set them in place with the e.l.f. Clear Eyebrow Gel so they don't go anywhere. have set in my face I'm gonna go ahead and move on to foundation and today I'm gonna be using an oldie but a goodie and that is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation you guys this is a refound love like I used to love this thing when it first came out like I was obsessed with it and I decided to go ahead and purchase it again and you guys oh my god I'm so obsessed this is definitely probably going to be my go-to foundation for summer and like hot weather because girl not only does it look flawless but it keeps you looking matte and like I don't know I just really really like it so I am going to be using the shade caramel beige So to go ahead and highlight and conceal, I'm going to go ahead and use the LA Girl Pro Concealer once again. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is the Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer. That is a very long name, but... So this is in the shade C9, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix these two together. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the areas where I did apply all of my concealer, which is the center of my face and underneath my eyes. So today for eyeshadow, I'm going to go in to the Pro Fusion Cosmetics CNS. This is their 21 shade eyeshadow palette. So gorgeous. So the first shade I'm going to take is this one in Oasis. And I'm going to go ahead and take it on my Morphe JH32 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and work that in my crease as my transition shade. Now I'm going to go into this shade right here called Outspoken and I'm going to go ahead and work that in my crease as well using the JH33 brush. I'm just going to go ahead and place that shade right up under the first one and I'm not going to bring that shade all the way into my inner corner like I did the first one. a little bit more 
of Oasis on the same JH32 brush that I used earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead and lightly blend that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here called Outspoken, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take my finger and just put it on my eyelid. To go ahead and darken up the outer corner, I'm gonna- So at this point, unfortunately, my camera stopped recording. I have no idea why, but I did just wanna go ahead and pop in here via voiceover because I didn't want to refilm this whole thing for something so little but I pretty much just took the shade devoted on the JH40 and I just went ahead and deepened out my outer crease to go ahead and finish up the makeup look. I'm done with my eyes it is time to go ahead and move back to the face so I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face where I didn't set my concealer or where I didn't apply concealer I'm gonna go in with the Milani translucent medium to deep loose setting powder this is their make it last loose setting powder and I'm gonna go in with another Pro Fusion cosmetic product. This is their six shade blush palette, and I absolutely love it. Sorry, I was reading, I was literally reading it off like my mirror right here because I didn't remember the name. I mean, do I ever? But I am actually gonna go ahead and mix my two favorite shades, which are Chic and Exhale. So for highlighter today, I'm gonna go in to the MAC highlighter in the shade Oh Darling, which again, it's absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love this highlighter. So I'm also gonna go ahead and take the highlighter and put it in the inner, inner corner of my eyes. Per usual, I was gonna say earner, girl. Today for setting spray, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water. This is in the rose flavor. I do have all three of them. I originally started off with the coconut one, but I love that one so much, and I was like super curious to see how the cucumber and the rose one smelled, and I uh, love, I love all three of them. Super, super good. Again, super affordable. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face with a little bit of the rose um, primer water by Wet n Wild. So while the setting spray dries on my face, I'm going to move on to my super extra um, three-step mascara process. I'm first going to go in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Tinted Primer. Then I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And then to top it off, I'm going to finish it with the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I am going to go ahead and do this off camera because let's be honest, we all know how to go ahead and apply mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and I'll be right back. So my mascara is on and I did go ahead and line my waterline with the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. This is in the shade Smooth Charcoal, so I do have that on. So now we're going to go ahead and move to the final step of the makeup. And that is lips. So I'm going to first line my lips using the Kylie Jenner um, lip liner in the shade Candy K. Now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Stud. Now I'm going to go in to the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Featherless. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my hair. And if you guys like have been watching me. I pretty much have like three basic hairstyles. I'm not a hair person. I, I, I'm I just not, I'm not, I don't, I don't know what to do with, with this mess, but I am going to go ahead and run the straightener through my hair. I'm obviously going to take it out my ponytail and go ahead and straighten it. I am going to go ahead and use my Numi Mega Star hair straightener. Absolutely love this. I do have curly hair and this is an amazing hair straightener for people with curly hair. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of this um, ponytail, kind of run my fingers through it to, to detangle it and then run the straightener through it. So now 
I am done with my hair, I pretty much just grabbed a little piece and pinned it back with some bobby pins. Again, super simple and basic. And then I did go ahead and spray a little bit of the Sexy Hot Sexy Hair Protect Me 450 Hot to Protection Hairspray. So I did spray a little bit on the top of my hair to go ahead and kind of control the little flyaways. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the outfit. Okay, so do not mind my janky little setup. I'm working on getting a new mirror. So we're just going to go ahead and roll with it for now. But here is my complete outfit. I really hope you guys can get the whole like aspect of it if that's what you would call it but pretty much I decided to go ahead and wear these ripped up jeans these are actually from American Eagle and as you guys can tell I kind of cuffed them at the bottom because they kind of like like the way the bottom is they're like super distressed and it just it just doesn't look good so I went ahead and I cuffed them and then this gray bodysuit I actually got from uh, boohoo.com absolutely love it and it is like a like a sleeveless one so this is going to be awesome for um, spring and summer but it's still cold here where I live so I did go ahead and throw this jacket I think they call it like a teddy bear jacket or something like that I don't know but they are super super popular um, right now and I actually got this white one at Walmart for like seven bucks. It's super cute, super comfy, and for seven dollars, like hello, so cute. And then my shoes, I'm just wearing my white um, Converse. Yes, they're a little bit dirty, but um, what are chucks if they don't have a little dirt on them? So that is what I have on as far as like my outfit. Now for jewelry, I do have these little dainty rings aside from my like wedding ring. I got these little dainty rings on both hands and I got these at five below. So hello for some savings. It was like a pack of five for literally five dollars. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys around. So I really hope you guys can see. And then this next necklace was actually um, given to me. It's just a little gold Tennessee necklace. And then my earrings, again, I got them in a pack um, from Five Below. These are just like a white, I don't know what you would call it, but they got gold and white in them. They're super, super cute. And that is my outfit. You guys know I live for um, comfy clothes so this is the outfit let me go ahead and give you guys the whole the whole outfit including the makeup so really cute super comfortable it's actually super rainy out today so cute and I do have it does have like a hood in it so hello if it rains I got a little a little protection so that is the outfit for today. And that is it for today's one hour transformation video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did, don't forget to go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and also hit the little notification bell so you guys are notified every time I do upload a video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.